Hello world, it is Saturday, March 6th, and I'm a little later than normal because I had a webinar this morning. It was quite good, put on by the Living Water Association in Northeast Ohio. It is a beautiful blue sky, although it's still a little chilly. I think it's in the 40s, but just a gorgeous sunny March day. So I hope you get a chance to go out and uh, experience a little bit of sunshine, get a dose of vitamin D. It's good for your health. Um, here it's also good for resisting COVID, so making sure you have good vitamin D in you. The devotion for today is called Striving, and it's in, in written by Martha Spong. And Martha bases the devotion upon Exodus chapter 16, verse 28, New Revised Standard Version. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Lord said to Moses, How long will you refuse to keep my commandments and instructions? And Martha writes, we are busy, exhausted, overworked, inundated. How can we rest when there are so many demands on our time, so many people who need us, so much news to digest, so many goals to achieve? See, the Lord has given you the Sabbath. God assures us just as God assured the Israelites in the, in the wilderness. I am as much of a striver as the rest of this generation, up early or late to finish one thing and start another, jumping to whatever is the new platform, wondering every day what God really wants me to do. Often our striving is a product of anxiety rooted in a genuine fear about survival. For the Israelites, finding sufficient food for the community was a real need. When God provided manna, that miraculous flaky seeded wafer found with the dew, the people had trouble trusting that it would continue to appear. The promise of a double portion on the day before the Sabbath felt unreliable despite the evidence of God's care. On the seventh day, some of the people went out to gather, just in case, and they found none. They could not bring themselves to rely on God's word as passed to them by Moses. Even so, the manna continued to appear for 40 years, their entire journey in search of the promised land. Why can't we rely on God's word and take our Sabbath rest? When we resist quieting our anxious hearts, minds, hands, we miss out on the manna of connection to God. Even so, God awaits us. And the prayer. Holy One, giver of all good things, may we get the message and lay aside our striving long enough to rest in you. Amen. This devotion made me think of something I read recently about this pandemic time and how much screen time people are spending. And uh, while it has opened up avenues, um, and like I've mentioned before, it's allowed me to attend meetings that normally I would have to drive an hour, hour and a half one way to attend. Um, so I'm spending a lot less time traveling and more time uh, doing things. On the other hand, the article mentioned that um, one of the issues with what we've done in the pandemic is that everything's available on the screen 24-7. So we tend to um, not be as good about um, limiting our work and it extends into what had been personal time and it now becomes work time, more easily available as work time. Um, and we need rest. We need time away. And I've been thinking about that too, and for myself, and, and looking for some time away. And I haven't come up with a plan yet, but uh, I know I'm going to do some things probably this summer when things get a little uh, easier to travel about, um, just to get time away. It's been a hard year for everyone, um, but we still need time just to be in God's presence. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy the sun. And I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at about 1015 music starts for for worship and then about 1030 worship begins. So um, join us on our Facebook page. Take care.